Attorney Laura Anthony, founding partner of Legal and Compliance, a full service corporate securities and business transactions law firm. Today is a continuation in a LawCast series talking about the recent SEC investigation and report and public statements into initial cryptocurrency offerings or ICOs. On July 25, 2017, the SEC issued a report on its investigation into the DAO, an unincorporated entity, Slocket, a German organization, and various principals and participants in the offering. On the same day the SEC that, that, that the SEC issued its investigative report, the Division of Corporation Finance and the Division of Enforcement issued statements on the report. Off the top, I noticed that the SEC, under Chair Jay Clayton, Commissioner Michael P.O.R., and the numerous new executive members have a decidedly more positive attitude towards business and capital raising overall than the prior regime. I also notice, through review of enforcement proceedings, that the new regime has not been deterred at all from its mission to detect and prosecute fraud, including microcap and penny stock related schemes. To begin its statements, the Divisions of, Corpor of Corporation Finance and Enforcement noted that the DLT, blockchain, and other emerging technologies have the potential to influence and improve capital markets and the financial services industry overall. The divisions welcome and encourage the appropriate use of technology to facilitate capital formation and provide investors with new investment opportunities. And they are also hopeful that innovation in this area will facilitate fair and efficient capital raising for small businesses. However, new technologies also offer new opportunities for misconduct and abuse. The divisions reiterate the SEC report's assertion that an offer and sale of securities must comply with the federal securities laws and that determining whether a particular investment opportunity involves a security involves a facts and circumstance analysis, including economic realities, underlying structure, and that applies regardless of the terminology or technology used. Noting that the SEC report had found that the DAO tokens were indeed securities, the divisions cautioned sponsors and other participants in offerings of digital or other novel forms of value to consider whether they involve a security and thus their obligations under the federal securities laws, including registration or meeting the qualifications for a registration exemption. Market participants that operate a web or other platform that facilitate transactions in securities must also consider whether they need to be registered as a broker dealer or an exchange and if there is an available exemption from such registration. Although the division statements do not mention it, keeping in line with the fundamental view that basic securities law apply. A web platform that meets the criteria set out in Section 4B of the Securities Act as created by the Jobs Act should qualify for a broker-dealer exemption when hosting digital coin or token offerings. I'm securities attorney Laura Anthony, founding partner of Legal and Compliance and producer of LawCast. Should you have any questions about today's topic, please visit securitieslawblog.com and lawcast.com or contact me directly. Inquiries of a technical nature are always encouraged.